Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Bird Den Overland. I'm Dennis, along with my partner Kristen and our new pup Ed. We will be traveling and exploring Arizona for the next few weeks. So please join us and come along for the ride. We just came to a campsite. We're going to stay for the night, but this is what we find. Just complete effing assholes. As per usual, we leave our camp spots better than we find them. Humans can definitely suck sometimes. So new camp spot near Lake Pleasant, Arizona, just north of Phoenix. We're up on a little bit of a ridge over this uh, valley. It's got a nice view this way. It's warm. And uh, I walk up that way a little bit, you got a view of the lake. So it's a nice little spot to hang out for a couple days. Well, today we're gonna head into town because we've been uh, desert bums for what, six days? Yep. Five days, six yep. days? Yep. Just one spot camping in the desert doing absolutely nothing and it was blissful but time to make a run into town to get supplies and we are just north of Lake Pleasant Arizona Just a baby, baby donkey here. Maybe oh, we'll get to see so him. Little. He's up here to the right. Oh, look how cute. Let's try and get a picture of him. Yeah, slow down. Or stop, like. Oh. He's in the way there. He's gonna come back out. Here he comes. There's a lot of traffic this morning with razors and side by sides and uh, come around the corner here and we see how many people are actually out there riding today. Well, Mexico didn't fix the power steering leak. It's leaking again. We're at a diesel shop here in Phoenix and uh, this fella's told me that all the little fittings are all shit now. So we're going to try to reroute the hose today. And he's a super good guy. He's letting me wrench on it. He's going to give me help when I need it. So it's uh, cool. Watch your head on that nut behind you. You almost took yourself out. So this is what we're doing today in <laughs> Phoenix in 95 degree weather. It's awesome. <laughs> well, I did it. I fixed the power steering lines. Uh, and hopefully I fixed it right. Um, it is a cocksucker of a job though, I tell you that. It took me a couple hours, but uh, I got her done. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And we got a good bill from the mechanic. Yeah, the mechanic, uh, Terminator Diesel in uh, Glendale, no. Arizona. Those guys are, Rob's the man, man. He helped me go through the van yesterday looking for short wires, let me use, you know, his shop today. And uh, he didn't charge me a dime, man. So kudos to you, Rob. Thanks, buddy. You have a power stroke in the Phoenix area. This is the shop to go to. And of course, we stop at a dog park to let Ed play and socialize. Now we just stopped at Walmart and saw these guys. They, uh, they deliver groceries via drone. Look at the size of that sucker. I was talking to them and uh, that thing will pack 70 pounds. Pretty cool. After getting all of our errands completed, 
Of course we headed out of the city and into the mountains. This road we picked was definitely a little bit rougher and more of a challenge than we thought it would be. Approximately two and a half hours north of Phoenix, we found this beautiful BLM land to camp on. We spent five nights here soaking up the views and just enjoying the in the now moments. We are learning to slow down and really take in all the beautiful scenery and nature we are so fortunate to experience. Our days mostly consisted of long walks with Kristen and Ed, enjoying the spring colors starting to bloom, along with Kristen cre creating great meals for us to enjoy. I know it's a tough life we lead, but someone has to do it. What are you chefing up tonight, Chef Kristen? We're having um, Big Mac tacos. Big Mac tacos, interesting, interesting. Can't wait. Does this taste like Big Mac sauce? <laughs> Not doing that. Look at all that lettuce. It's good for you, right? There you go. There you go, you got taco, Big Mac tacos. Wow, it does taste like Big Mac sauce. There was something very special about this place that just seemed to resonate with our souls. It was so peaceful. Finished a nice run with uh, Eddie. Are you tired out, Pooch? Can I outrun you? What tonight, Chef Kristen? Uh, like Asian peanut rice noodle bowls. <laughs> okay, wicked. Can't wait. Should be delicious. Is your rice done, babe? Rice noodles. Rice noodles. Yes. Sweetness, it's coming together. Mm -hmm. 
That jar is not just peanut butter, but Kristen's homemade peanut sauce. She did wish she soaked the noodles in it instead of just adding it and mixing it in. Unfortunately, for some reason, I didn't get a photo of what Kristen created, but I'm here to tell you, it was delicious. After a week or so, we were ready to go exploring to find our next spot. So please join us in the next episode to see what we find. Thanks for watching.